Welcome to another moment of truth. The Almighty God has started a work with us and we believe that He will perfect everything that concerns us. Because you are a child of God, in seeking for God's help, don't ever go to Egypt. That's what we want to consider today. Don't go to Egypt for help. Vain is the help of the Egyptian. The Egyptians are flesh. And when I said Egypt, I'm not talking about physical Egypt. Whenever we use Egypt in the scripture, we're talking about in the world system. How does the world do their own thing? Don't go that method. Don't go and borrow ideas and skills of Egypt and bring it to Zion and want God to rubber stamp it. It will not work. For example, now, don't go and collect scholarship from a man that you are going to tell to come and marry you in exchange for it. That is Egyptian method. That's not what God has sent you. Well, let us learn the secret of God. There is no help in Egypt. Whatever is in Egypt is bondage. Search the scripture very well. Everyone that has ever engaged the method of Egypt will always regret it. Isaiah chapter 31 verses 1 to 3. Isaiah 31 verses 1 to 3. The scripture says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look, on the, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, yet he also is wise. And we bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now, the Egyptians are men, they are not God. And their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth and, and all and shall fall. Sorry, both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is helped shall fall down and they shall fail together. What am I trying to tell you? The method of Egypt can be very attractive. The method of this world can be very attractive, but it is not the method of God. As long as it does not glorify God, don't borrow that method. Every time you borrow the method of Egypt, the method of unbeliever to run your life as a child of God, is as good as going to Egypt for help and not to God. It's as good if they tell you that we are going to give you a good business and you must give us our own 10% or 20% or 30% share. That is the method in Egypt. You must learn the secret of saying, that is not my help. I don't want that kind of blessing. I want the blessing that is of the Lord, that added no sorrow. Every time the, you have to tell lies and just use, it, use an idea to cut corner in order to make profit of the world, it is borrowing Egyptian method to run the business that God has called you into. You need to be very careful. If you want God to be there, or when you run into a problem there and you want to cry to God and you want God to answer you, don't go to Egypt for help. Don't use their method. I, I grew up in a place where when they supply material to the store, they will go and withdraw that material again and resupply it again. That is Egyptian method. Don't ever join them. When you go to school and you want to do collaboration, do your collaboration outside of examination or don't allow anybody to write your exams for you. You may pass, but the devil will be glorified over your life. If you want God to be able to glorify, to be, if you want God to be glorified in your life, stop collaborating in examination hall. That is stealing and cheating. That is Egyptian method. It is not of God. Anytime you do things in the way of the world, you are borrowing the Egyptian method. You are going to Egypt. Never, never go to Egypt for help. Networking is good. Connection is good. Using influence is good. But be careful. They may ask you to bow down to them because that is the method in Egypt. When I become your mentor, if care is not taken, I'm going to be a small letter G God to you. If I become your influencer, I am the one that is influencing businesses all around for you, be careful. If care is not taken, you will not be able to say it is the Lord that helped me. It is your influencer or your mentor or your, 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 your fellow, your connector, your network man that is helping you. It's not God. The man will place a demand on you very soon. 
And when he placed a demand on you, what are you going to do? It is because you have gone to Egypt for their method. That is why you are going to be responsible and you will have to do their bid. It is exactly like the devil asking you to bow down to him. It is my prayer that somebody out there will know what it means never to go down to Egypt. Because as, as long as you go to Egypt, you, God will not be glorified in your life. The Bible says, For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Your strength is to sit still in God. Your strength is to sit still in God. Stop going to Egypt. Stop copying unbelieving method to do your work. Trust God to show you what to do. And the Lord will perfect your journey in life. The Lord will perfect you as you go. It is my prayer as often as you refuse Egypt, Egyptian method, God will open doors to you. And God will give you insight so that he will help you with, your, with his own method, not the method of Egypt. Go and prosper under God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.